Good morning. Welcome back to Mishmas. Sitting here enjoying my cup of coffee. I have some thoughts. God, why do I keep forgetting the packet? Hold on. Okay. Today's is Gentle Yeti. How cute is that? It is medium and toasty, and it tastes like baking spices, chocolate, brown butter. Uh, I really like this one. This one suits me. <laughs> this is from the Middle, Middle Fork Roasters. Middle Pork Roasters? Middle Fork Roasters. Wow. From Seattle, Washington. The Gentle Yeti has emerged from the clearing, <laughs> and he's brought you a freshly toasted spiced muffin for your mug. Yeah, I like the, the baking spices and the chocolate. Yeah, this one I definitely like, Gentle Yeti. I think this one's my favorite so far. Yes, tasty, tasty, tasty. How is everyone? Uh, today, I've got my second pair of holiday jammies on. Let me see if I can show you more detailed. This is the more festive one, so I feel like this is more like, like a New Year's or something. Candelabra, bugle, holly a moon, presents, champagne bottle. Yeah, I like this one. This one's like the party, the party jammies. So how is everyone's December going so far? We are done with the first week of Mishmas. My goodness. It's so funny because it, you know, like, like most things, it feels like it goes by so fast and so slowly, all at the same time. <laughs> I'm like, how is that possible? But that's how it feels. So I am picking up my friend Lara today from the airport. I'm so excited. I just said goodbye to Matthew and Mark. Well, yes, I did say goodbye to them, but Mark is still here. And we're actually going to be seeing him uh, later tonight. Hi, Butters. Or as Uncle Marky calls you, Booters. 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 Hi. <laughs> there you are. What you doing under there? Hmm? Don't you want to say hello to everyone? Hmm? No. I'm not even sure why she comes down. I think she comes to check to see if there's food in her bowl and then <laughs> and she goes back upstairs. Oh. So anyway, while I'm waking up, finishing up this coffee, let's go ahead and open up today's advent calendars. So excited. And then I'll be back to share with you what we're doing today. Okay, let's see what we have for day nine. It's right up here. We've got, ooh, the cypress and grapevine. Gosh, I really do love these dark ones. This is such a perfect holiday winter scent. All right, day nine for day corte is over here. Ooh, is this another lip product? Dewy Rouge, I think that says. Ooh, wow, that's amazing. Gorgeous, I love it, I love this packaging. Okay, Sisley, what have you got for us today? We are on day nine over here, and ooh, something from their hair ritual line, the Revitalizing Fortifying Serum. You guys, this is such a good scalp serum, I love it. All right, YSL, day number nine. Here we are. We've got, ooh, a full-size lipstick, The Bold, Intense Color Couture Shine, Ultimate Comfort in the Shade, 1971. Ooh, a burnt red. Wow, that is perfect. Gorgeous. I don't think I've ever tried this formula from YSL. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, and Diptyque, oops, number nine right up here. We've got the EDP of O Rose, such a classic. Hello, I've gotten ready for the day. We have an exciting day ahead of us. I am picking up my friend Lara from the airport. I'm so excited. She is here to help me out actually. <laughs> She's like, this whole Mishmas thing seems crazy. Do you need help? I'm like, sure. So anyway, she is uh, flying in very, very soon. Actually, her flight was, the last time I checked, like a half hour early. Um, so I want to run a couple of errands before she gets here and um, I'll go pick her up. We will probably grab some lunch at that point. I think she's been up since like 3 a.m. her time. Um, and then tonight, oh, let me grab the invitation. I haven't opened it yet, but we got invited to the 
basically the reopening of the Bellagio Hermes Boutique. So they have been basically like just renovating it. And so they're having like a grand opening there. And let's open up this invite. Oh, how cute, look at that. So let's see, invite to celebrate the opening of the new Hermes Boutique at the Bellagio. It is tonight from six to eight. Uh, kindly respond, complimentary valet. This invitation is non-transferable. So we are looking forward to that. Lara, of course, is like, I don't have anything to wear. I'm like, it's fine, it's Vegas. So anyway, we're gonna come back here, probably get ready together, and then um, I want to get to Bellagio a little bit early so we can check out maybe some of the other boutiques because I haven't been to the LV boutique at the Bellagio in a long time. I usually go to the one in city center. It's right across from Prada. So I usually end up going to city center these days, but I love the Chanel Bellagio. Um, that's still my favorite Chanel. So maybe we'll stop by there, stop by Louis Vuitton to see what's, what's going on, uh, do a little vlogging there and then hit the event. And then we're gonna wanna grab some dinner afterwards. And I think at that point, Lara will be ready to collapse. So we'll probably just grab something and come home and eat. But that is the day. So right now I need to, like I said, uh, run some errands. I need to go to the UPS store. I have three packages to drop off. Um, I need to go to the dry cleaners and pick up those Loewe jackets that I had the sleeve shortened on. They're ready. Can't wait to see those. And then head on over to the airport. I think I should be able to squeeze all that in before she gets there. Hopefully traffic won't be too bad. So I'm sitting in my car in a Starbucks parking lot because I just um, went and picked up my jackets that I got tailored. I can't wait to show you guys them. They did such a good job. I could not recommend this place enough. I took like a really close look at the gray jacket. It's so amazing. I'll show it to you uh, when I get home. Um, but my friend, Laura, she landed early. So I was like, okay, let me get out and about and get all these errands done and then I'll be ready to pick her up. But she texted and she said, we landed early, but our gate isn't ready. So they're just sitting there. So I'm like, okay. So it's easier for me to just sit here in this parking lot than circle the airport. So I'm sitting here, I'm watching YouTube. I'm watching some Gary V video. What is this called? How to put yourself in a position to make more content. I'm like, okay, I could probably learn something here. So I'm just watching that. I'm just sitting here, I'm waiting to pick up Laura and I'm starting to get hungry. I texted her. I was like, think about what you want to do for lunch. I'm getting hungry. So hopefully she'll have some ideas. Of course, I always have some ideas for food. Hopefully she'll text me soon. It's only going to take me about 15 minutes from where I am to get to her. Whoa, the airport is super busy today. Usually isn't this much traffic. Hi! <laughs> I'm so happy to be here! Yay! We finally found each other. It was a bit dramatic. If you guys ever fly into Vegas, everything says passenger pickup. So if your friend's picking you up, Uber, cab, casino, yeah. and they're all different places though, but it's all like one type of signage, right? Yeah, it is very confusing here. Confusing. You know, the Atlanta airport is probably five times the size of this. Yeah, but, but clear. But I feel like it's, yeah, it's clear. a lot of signage. Yeah. Mm. Um, what do you want to do for lunch? I'm starving. Oh my god, I need to feed. Um, <laughs> it's feeding time. I don't know. Should we just pick something up or do you want to go sit down somewhere? It's up to you. I don't know. Let's I'm pretty open. Let's, let's think about it. Let's think about it. We're, We're going to think about it. Letters. Mommy's home. And I brought home a gift for you. Yes, I brought, I brought home a new friend for you to play with. Are you ready? Oh, put her skinny. Okay. Okay. 
thank you for the kisses. Thank you for the kisses. <gasps> now, do you think your two dogs would love Miss Butters here, or would they just be like confused? Brienne would lose her mind. Okay. She'd be so excited. But I'd be afraid that she'd hurt Butters because she's, you know, she's 70 pounds of just muscle. Yeah, yeah. And um, Buckley would be more gentle and playful. Okay, okay. But yeah, I think Butters might be afraid of Brienne because she's just. She, she plays just gets with, so excited. She plays with big dogs at school. Okay. Yeah. She, um, well, you know what? Brienne would love it because Buckley's an old guy and he can't get around. You know, he can't give her really hard playtime, but Butter's good. Yo, yo, Shutter's good. So, we actually have to start getting ready for our evening out. So, maybe we'll, we'll do like, oh, it's, my lens is so dirty. Sorry, guys. Hold on. It's still dirty. Is that okay? So I think we're gonna figure out what we're gonna wear tonight. Maybe put on some makeup. Not that you need it. Yeah, I need to freshen yeah. up a little. A little. I have plain up. makeup on now, <laughs> so I need to have a do-over. Okay. All right. So we'll do that. But let's get you settled in. Okay. 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 We're being nosy. We're poking in Lara's luggage. Look at this cute Dior makeup bag. It's like one of those free gift things. Yep. It's like amazing. Okay. I love it. So we're talking about what we're wearing tonight. Do you want to show us what you're This is stressful for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's what I'm thinking. I've got the Everlane pants that you turned me on to. The dream pants. The dream and pants. So and they are a dream. I love yeah. the weight of the material. Yeah. So I think I'm going to wear these. Okay. <clears throat> together with, I just have this thin sweater. I love it. And my dream pants. <clears throat> it's simple. Simple. And comfortable, and most importantly. Comfortable. And then these are fairly new. These. Ooh, oh, I like those. I like that. So I think I'll wear those. Now, here's mm -hmm. what I'd like your opinion. Okay. So I love these earrings. They would match the sweater. But my question is Ooh. is this just too much for like a casual I think they're very great outfit or I don't think they're too much no pretty with this I think this might go well are those clip-ons yeah they're super heavy oh well they go beautifully okay yeah I like them okay good yeah I think they're good so that's the plan all right yeah, I'm definitely gonna go. It's just a store opening, so it's not it's not gonna be fancy schmancy. Not even a store opening. It's a store reopening because they just redid the boutique at the Bellagio. And, but I, and I get to pick out a bag. <gasps> yes. I'm so yes. excited. Yes. So am I. <laughs> Do you want to show me now? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Am I? Is there any that are like? Don't you dare bring this. Oh no. No. No, no preciousness here. You can whatever you want. Oh my god. Well, do you want like a small or? Uh, like medium to big. Oh, okay. I would say the only bags that really aren't my fave mm -hmm. would be Chanel. Mm -hmm. No, that's not your style. That's not my style. Mm -mm. But <clears throat> this mm -hmm. kind of size, mm -hmm. are you sure nothing's off limits? Nothing is off limits. That would go great with your outfit because it's such a clean. Okay. Yeah. And is this removable? Uh, this longer strap is removable. Okay, perfect. So I think I'd rather just hold it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd just rather hold it. Yeah. Doesn't it go well with my casual pants? It does. <laughs> it goes well with everything. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, that was easy. Do you want to keep? What are you gonna? I don't. Know. I don't even. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Okay, I have to just feel this. I have to feel this again. It's a bag and stress reliever. All in one. Okay, now that Lara is squared away, I have to figure out what I'm going to wear. It's so funny. I usually start with, like, the one thing that I want to wear, whether it's the shoes or the top or a skirt, some, maybe something's new. It's like, oh, let's try that today, and then I'll build something around it. I just can't, I don't know, I can't decide. Probably because 
this event is so in between. It's like, sure, I want to look nice, but it's not super fancy. So it's like, <laughs> how do I do this? How do I do this? Well, Laura's wearing pants. So I think I'm going to wear a pair of pants as well. Maybe I'll wear one of these Loewe jackets. It also feels weird to be going to um, this Hermes boutique opening. And I don't, I definitely don't have any Hermes clothing. I don't have, I only have sandals for shoes. I'm not going to wear the sandals. I guess I should really bring, <laughs> I guess I should really bring that Birkin because that's really the only thing. So maybe I'll wear this Loewe jacket. Actually, while I have you guys here, let me show you the sleeve shortening job that Roses did. So they had um, a real challenge with this because this is double face cashmere. And so what has to happen is, can you guys see that? So there is a seam that has to be split open. So it's almost like they have to do two shortenings, one on each side. It's not just one piece of fabric, it's double face. And then, do you guys remember that detail that I loved where it's that little ribbon that holds the lining to the inside of the coat sleeve? Do you see that? They replaced it. Like, perfectly. But this is incredible. It does not even look like it's been touched. This looks like original. Yeah, I really want to wear this tonight. And I think this leather patch would actually go well with the Birkin. Okay guys, this is what I have decided on. So I threw on the Loewe jacket that was just tailored. Look at how perfect the life is. And then I put on my wide leg uh, wool trousers from Kaz and my Dior loafers. I just wore these. Where did I go? Oh, I wore these loafers when I went to the Lady M Boutique opening with the black taper pants. Anyway, I was thinking about wearing my Prada loafers, but those are really chunky, and so it ends up looking more casual than these. So I thought I would go with this. I love this. And in case I get warm, I do have a blouse on underneath. I have my short um, Prada blouse, this cotton poplin blouse underneath, short sleeve and everything. So. I'm sure I'll be comfortable. This is really lightweight, but it is double face cashmere. So there is the possibility that I may get like a little bit too warm in this, but we'll see. Okay, let's go downstairs and put on some makeup. All right, putting some makeup on for the event. I don't think we've ever done this together. I don't think ever. Hard to believe in 27 so, years. Is that how long we've known each other? I think so. I think so. Oh, God. What's this giant thing? It's a little mirror. Oh. It's a little mirror. You guys have seen this. Nice. Um, but yeah, I travel with this guy. It has a little light. Oh, that's awesome. I think yours has a light too. Oh, it could oh be. Yeah, that's, it could be that. Actually, that's pretty good. Okay. So I wanted to tell you, I didn't yeah. pack, obviously, that much makeup. Mm -hmm. I have one. Okay, I think you turned me on. Charlotte Tilbury, Beautiful Skin. Such a good one. Such a good one. My concealer, the Dior. But I'm, I want to get your opinion because I feel like the shade might be too just light. a little bit too light. Okay. But I'm not sure. And that's the shade I use in the Beautiful Skin. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Is that the Laura Mercier blush? Oh, this is... Oh, you, you yes. told me about this. Is that this. Fresco? Yeah, uh, yes. I think so. Yes. So now I kind of use it as a... I don't know if you're supposed to. Like in my cheek area, like sure. temple, yeah. jaw, and then I put my blush over it. Yeah. Okay. Like kind of like a bronzer. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it has that tone to it, which is why I really like it. Yeah. So good. And then this Laura Mercier stuff, I've been kind of obsessed with it. Yeah. It is so beautiful, but I feel like it would get lost. It was getting lost when I put, like, my whole foundation over it. Okay. And, like, you couldn't see it much, so now I just blob it over my skin. Yeah, as, like, a first step. Yeah, and put my cons my uh, foundation and I'll just mix time. them in. Oh, yeah. I don't know if... It makes the foundation, like, a little bit glowier? Yeah. You like that? Okay. Yeah. Very nice. I'm going to do this little trick that you probably have seen me talk about. I'm going to use that Westman Atelier liquid super loaded highlight oh. in Pota Rosé under my eyes as a primer. Oh. Just under your eyes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um... Yeah, it does like this nice 
kind of like brightening, and then you put your concealer over it, oh. and it just kind of shines through. It's kind of like what that I primer does. I would have loved to have tried that. Oh, tomorrow. So what, it sort of counteracts any darkness? It's not really a corrector, a, oh, okay. per se. It's for But it kind of like smooths, and it brightens the area, so it's almost like it distracts the eye from oh, any okay. darkness you may have. And I'm gonna have a no foundation, just concealer day. I'm just gonna spot conceal. I don't feel like putting a full face back on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now here's a question. When you yeah. use this guy, mm -hmm. how many pumps? Maybe two at most, maybe one yeah. and a half. Yeah, I've, okay, I've been doing two. So let me do this concealer and you can tell me if you think it's too light. It's so funny, mine's too dark. You could probably mix these two. I know, I bet so. I feel like I like the texture of concealer after it's kind of sat for a minute, but I never want to wait around for it. Oh, on your skin? Yeah. Like it like maybe gets a little tacky? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what you could do? I feel like this helps with that situation. You could put the concealer on the back of your hand. Oh, and then... And then by the time you close up the container and you find your brush and you pick up a little bit, it's done that. Oh, it's like okay. tacky it up a little bit. Do you think it's too light? I don't think so. I mean, I think it depends on preference. I think some people like it like this where it's more brightening. Okay. And some people just don't like that. They want it more the color of like their complexion. They don't want that brightening action. And do I need to use more? No. Okay, so let me try this product okay. that you showed me. What is yeah. this? So oh, it's S one size. Oh, one size. Um, and it's like the, I don't know, loose perfecting powder, something like that. I think I'll just kind of dab it on there. Mm -hmm. Can you tell the difference? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? It looks smoother. Oh, good. Okay. You know what you could try? I don't know if you want to try this. Okay. But you can take some powder with your finger and press it. Oh. But like a little bit, like a thin layer of it. Yeah, like that. Mm, yeah. And really like press it into the concealer so it almost like forcing it to like soak it up a little. Mm. I'm gonna use my Hermes um, bronzer since we're going. Okay, I really do need to get with the program nice. when it comes to blush. Okay. I've worn this blush since New York. Oh my God. Orgasm by NARS. Pe I need to try something else for heaven's sake. So <laughs> it's time. Now, how long has that been? Well, Laura moved out of New York before I did. So, gosh, I've been wearing this since probably 90. <laughs> when did they make orgasms? <laughs> Seriously. 90. Do you remember Sarah Jane had a makeup artist that she was friends with at NARS? Yes. God, what was his name? It's because of him, I think. Okay. So, late 90s? Mid 2000s, maybe? Picks up more product than mine. Oh, is that too much? So we're talking like 25 years. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I should try another <laughs> Maybe, but NARS would be so happy to hear that. Seriously. You should be like a spokesperson. Plus, yeah. it's fun to go to the counter and be like, I'll have an orgasm, please. <laughs> Just the one. <laughs> Now, I have not worn this blush in eons. Oh, God, that's pretty. What is this even called? This is that orchid. It's a highlighter blush from Sisley. It's in shade number one. It doesn't even look like I used it. Yeah, it doesn't. Actually. Is this my second one? I'm so confused. All right. So no. I just used this um, Bobbi Brown. Oh, yeah. For the highlighter? Pretty. Is that really good? Yeah. It's pretty. Do you want to try something on mine? I think you wanted to try the Esam. These are all matte and these are all shimmer. Okay, so I'm gonna try these two that I saw at Michelle show you all. And who, what is, what are they again, Michelle? So that's the Artistry Palette. This is number one, number Balance. One. Okay. And then that one's number two, Intensity. One's all matte, one's like shimmery metallics. How's it going? Good, yeah. I'm gonna do something simple. Do I want to use this? I'm going to use the Natasha Denona. Why not? I should have put, put like an eye primer on. Do you have one that you like? I don't think I've ever used one. Oh. 
end up just putting like concealer or something up there. Mm -hmm. So if you were to have gotten ready at home, let's say at a normal yeah. order, is makeup the last thing you do or do you get dressed after? Um, makeup's usually the last thing. Yeah, I think what I... What about you? Same. Yeah. And I got so many, so many of you out there commented that you're supposed to do basically like the exact opposite of what I do. Like makeup, oh. hair, and then Oh, and then get, get dressed. And then get dressed. Oh. But I'm like, I feel like I mess up the hair and the makeup then. Exactly. I'm afraid to do that. Then too. people were commenting that they're afraid they're gonna get makeup on their clothes well, or I was just gonna say, like, if I happen to wear something lighter, which does not happen very often, yeah. um, then I might. Yeah. Or I'll wear like a robe over it because I'm afraid little flakes yeah. will will ruin it or something. Yeah. I always use my finger for these little shimmer lids. It's, yeah. I think as a rule that works a little bit better. Oh, wow. Aren't those pretty? That is some serious... Ah, pretty. Wow. Here's something you might not know about me when it comes to makeup. Mm -hmm. I never use eyeliner. I use this goofy little brush. Mm-hmm. One of these sides. I don't remember which makeup palette I got this from. It looks like a Tom Ford. Oh, I think it is. Yeah. And I just use a dark shadow. That's I never usually... use a... Because I just like it looking... Softer. Really super soft. Yeah. I uh, tend to do that. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. I tend to do that, except when I'm going out. Because mm -hmm. I do find that, like, these gel liners, they just don't budge. Oh, okay. They don't budge, they don't move. So I just trust it a little bit more. If you um, ever do find yourself with an eyeliner and you want to put it on in a soft way, okay, you can take the eyeliner and then like a brush and then oh. brush it on. Now let me feel that. I've never used a, a pencil eyeliner. Brush? No, I've never used that before. Oh yeah, that's nice. You can brush it on. It's really nice. Yeah. Oh, you know, you can have this because I have like a thousand oh of those. Oh my god, thank you. Are my eyes too heavy? No. You sure? Mm hmm Now, why are you all glowy and lovely and I don't, I look matte? What did I use? I just used a bit of this. Yeah. Well, I don't have foundation on. So it's probably just my skin hair. Dang. <laughs> my shiny ass lotion. That is, <laughs> looks so good. Oh, and then I do have this under my eyes. Do you want to look, do you like looking shinier? I do. I kind of like that dewy sort of look. I mean, subtle, yeah. but yeah, a little, you know? We can, we can get into that. Maybe we should do like a whole makeup thing tomorrow or something. Okay. I also, I have a ton of mascara if you're willing, if you mm. want to try yeah. different kinds. There was one you gave me that I loved. It was in a gold tube. All gold, I feel like. And I feel like the brush was tiny. Hourglass? But it was good. The only all gold tube mascara I know of is Hourglass. That's the brand? Mm hmm. I like your eye makeup a lot. Oh, thank you. You know what I think did it? Is that mm. shimmery shade from. Oh my god, that is just. That, yeah. That is really something that. Oh my god, do you want to show everyone your doll wink? Oh yeah. You guys, this is. <laughs> I was going to say, this is my favorite thing you do. That's not true. It's creepy. It's okay. creepy, but it's so great. Are you ready? Doll wink. I was at a makeup counter, actually, at a department store, and I sat down, and she came to this side to do this eye, and I did that <laughs> as I'm talking to her, and she goes, well, that's weird. <laughs> this one. Just that one? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like um, it's like a window treatment. It's like blinds that just yeah, right. come down. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Oh, it looks sick. Oh. Now, is that L'Oreal? Uh, I don't know. I feel like we like the same colors and we're the same skin tone. Yeah, that's true, is actually. That, we're, I can't believe we're just discovering this 27 <laughs> years later. I had a glossy. I usually put like a gloss. Is it under the top? Yep. Oh, yeah, I can use this. What is this? I think this is Laura Mercier. Mm-hmm. Miguel Sexing, what you doing? We're dancing around in our underwear. Yeah. My husband just, he just wants to be like part of the girl. I was going to say, he wishes he was right here. Yeah. Just. 
He wants in on the action at all yeah. times. Yeah, so as long as you've known me, I've been with Miguel, right? Because I, yeah. I just met him and started dating him right before I started the job where I met you. Yeah. We go way back. Way back. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> So we've made it to the Bellagio. We are headed over to the, what do we call this? The conservatory? It's where they have the, the huge like floral displays and everything. And I'm excited to see this year's holiday setup. Oh wow, it's pretty incredible. Gorgeous conservatory at our exhibition. Oh, stunning. Stunning. So we have some time to kill. We are over by the shops, of course. So we're gonna take a look around. I'm pretty sure I can't film in any of these stores, but I'll try. I'll try and sneak some footage. It was a lovely event. Did you like it? I did. Did you enjoy it? I did, yeah. We've already changed into our jammies, our yeah. perspective jammies. Mm -hmm. And we just had some pizza and some salad. Mm -hmm. I didn't have salad. I'm lying. I only had pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to hit the sack. Oh, yeah. Lara's been out for like 28 hours. because it's been so a, tired. So tired. It feels like it's like 3 a.m., but it's about 8.15. <laughs> yeah. It's 8.15. But it's 11.15. So it's 11 11.15. Yeah. And I usually am down by 
9, yeah. 9.30. So yeah. I'm tired, but I can't wait to wake up and have coffee. Yay! All right, guys. See you in tomorrow's Mishmas video. Bye! Bye.